forward, visible, ready. Control of the seas and power projection. Naval surface forces are returning to the offensive. Potential adversaries are increasing the range and lethality of their weapons, applying surveillance and reconnaissance across greater distances, all to deny the U.S. and its allies access to the maritime domain and the ability to project power from it. As a maritime nation, free use of the seas underpins the core of a U.S. economy that transports 90% of its goods across water and it underpins a global system of trade that works to the advantage of all nations. The challenges to maritime access must be addressed, and in the surface force, the concept of distributed lethality provides a powerful contribution to the broader Navy approach. The ability to exert sea control where necessary, when necessary, enables joint force access to the other domains of land, air, space, and cyber. Greater lethal power across larger geographical areas is the key. We will add offensive power to the force, to our cruisers, our destroyers, our littoral combat ships, our amphibious, and our logistic ships, and then employ them in dispersed adaptive force packages capable of executing a specific range of critical missions. Distributed lethality demands capability increases to existing platforms and payloads that are prioritized and opportunistic. It also provides a roadmap for the design of new ship classes. More powerful ships capable of creative deception using active and passive defense technologies will force an adversary to apply his limited surveillance and targeting resources, not to mention his weapons, across a larger and more confusing target set. Distributed, more lethal surface naval forces will rely on inorganic and organic means to locate and target adversary forces and to provide battle damage assessment. As we increase our ability to understand the environment, we must have weapons that exploit this additional battle space knowledge. Our priority will be to field them on traditional surface combatants first, but then also move on to selected amphibious ships and perhaps even the logistics force. Taking advantage of the over 8,000 VLS cells in our fleet, we look to opportunistically fit ships with additional capability. By modifying existing weapons, we can empower ships currently without surface-to-surface -surface missiles to engage surface contacts using a layered range approach in order to hold potential adversaries at risk and at range. While more lethal and distributed surface forces are designed to increase the offensive options available to the Joint Force Commander when the shooting starts, equally important is the ability to enhance conventional deterrence postures that limit an adversary's options for escalation. Again, greater lethality, distributed across our naval surface warships and over a wider geographic area, forces a potential adversary to account for far more threats than he currently must budget for. Distributed lethality, more power in more places to retain USC control, to project power, and to have access to all domains. Naval Surface Forces, forward, visible, ready.